advocating for the water just came so naturally to me. Ever since I was a baby, I had a strong relationship with the water. Our women are the water protectors. We are the life givers, we're the water carriers. So it's our uh, duty and responsibility to speak up. So that's why our women taking on that role. Me personally, I don't remember a time when Wapu had clean drinking water. We have the best Great Lakes down here, but you just couldn't drink the tap water here. The water contributes to a lot of problems that is going on in this area. There's a lot of sick people on this reserve. In Canada, there's communities that have been geographically segregated and now all of the rest of Canada has clean water except for these communities. That is racism. I feel like I lost something in my life because of how much poison and how polluted this water was. I guess I wanted to be able to do more research about it, have a better understanding of it, and maybe even be able to like, kind of get a sense of closure through this project. And so being able to come back here to the community and ask them about their knowledge and their experiences firsthand. Because oftentimes when we talk about the solutions to climate change, they're asking scientists what their thoughts are for the solution. And it's like, these people are the first ones impacted by climate change and environmental racism. And yet they're the last people on the list that they think to ask. And it's just like the voices that are here and the knowledge that they have is ancestral. And I feel like people are doing a disservice to themselves by not asking to hear these voices.